CAT 2021 slot 3 quantitative aptitude question number 16 consider a sequence of real numbers x1 x2 x3 such that x n plus 1 is equal to x n plus n minus 1 for all n greater than equal to 1 if x1 is equal to minus 1 then x100 is equal to so how do you go about solving that question so Let's start putting values of n. When n is equal to 1, on the left hand side, we'll get x2. So n is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, is equal to x1 plus 1 minus 1. This is what we get as the value of x2. What about x3? So for x3, you will have to put n is equal to 2. So x3 is equal to x2 plus here you have n minus 1 as 2 minus 1. But I've already calculated x2 as x1 plus 1 minus 1. So I'll plug the value of x2 that I've calculated here. Or my ape x1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 likunga. Fir x4 agya. X4 ke liye we need to plug in the value of n as 3 here. So is equal to x3 plus 3 minus 1. Or mujhe kya milega? I have already calculated the value of x3 from the previous equation. So I can put x3 as x1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus Three minus one. Now you can see there is a pattern emerging. X two jab tha, to x one plus one minus one tha. X three jo tha, that will be x one plus one minus one plus two minus one. X four became x one, one plus, plus one. one minus one plus two minus one plus three minus one. So ऐसे करते करते जब when we go to x hundred, we will have it as x one plus one minus one plus 2 minus 1 and so on till 99 minus 1. Dekho, yahan pe 4 hai to yahan pe 3 tha. Aakhri wala bracket. Here we had 3 so the last bracket was 2. So when we have x100 the last bracket should have 99 minus 1. So x100 is minus 1 which is the value of x1 given to you. Plus, now you can either calculate this straight away as 0 plus 1 plus 2 till 98 or you can say that this is the sum of numbers from 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on till 99 minus you have how many times 1? You have 99 times 1 because these are 99 brackets. So minus 99. So what do you get? 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 99 will be 4950 minus 100 should give you 4850 as your answer.